we heading to today? Cave in Rock. Okay, Cave in Rock, Illinois, and what's it famous for? Well, it has a long history, but the most famous thing, it was a hideout for what they're saying is America's first serial killer. Right, right, the Harp Brothers, the they Harp said. Brothers. So we're going to, we'll, we'll find out a little more information about that as we explore the cave. So we're heading out. Go ahead and saddle up, Judy. Yep. So this is our favorite uh, gas station to stop at. Judy picks up some some cool cool clothes. Yeah. That's cute. Yeah. Here, this is for you, honey. You get this one. Stop staring at my bass. Yeah. They always have good sunglasses here. Yeah, they're awesome. How much are those? These are nineteen ninety nine. What do you prefer? So she's trying to decide which one to get with that. Which one would anyone pick? I, I kind of like this one actually a little bit. Because it's bright. It's a little brighter. Yeah. And I like bright stuff. Yeah. You got a few goodies here. I, I, I even got a pair of sunglasses I got myself. A dress, sunglasses. Oh, that pizza looks fantastic. See Let how me they try are. one. You're the expert on fried pickles. I am. Those are good ones. Mm -hmm. Very good. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Those are good. Okay, so we're here in the restaurant at uh, Cave and Rock State Park, Illinois. And it's a really nice place to eat for lunch and dinner part of the state park system here. Look so, at this. 
Oh wow, a rattlesnake. Wow. Cool. Wow. A lot of rattlesnakes around here, right? Yeah. Yeah, a lot yeah. of rattlesnakes. Let's see what we got. Oh look, honey, there's another cougar. You're, you're not alone. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> now is this, this is Davy Crockett. Fess Parker played uh, Davy Crockett. It's Fess Parker. Yeah. And then Buddy Ebsen was in that movie too, I remember it. So, but yeah, apparently part of the movie was filmed right here on the Ohio River at Cave and Rock. Oh well, look, here we have a signed photograph of Fess Parker. Yes. Right here. I see that. So our food has arrived. There we go. So Judy's got the food. We're going to take leftovers home with us yes. for dinner tonight. But uh, I got a Reuben. I'm a big fan of Reuben, so. Looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. So we're going to have some leftovers for dinner tonight. All right, well, we just had lunch here at the lodge at Cave and Rock State Park. And you can see the Ohio River down there. We're going to walk down, get a better look at the river and, there, and the cabins here. The, uh, the lodge has four cabins and two houses they rent out. Mm -hmm. So that'd be a really Lovely nice weekend, weekend stop. We when you some. ride a Harley, you gotta have the Harley shoes, mm -hmm. some anklets, okay, and getting a, a shade darker. <laughs> yeah, you're pretty dark. <laughs> so, what's that one anklet has a has a has a handcuff on it? I guess I'm handcuffed to you. Wow, <laughs> those are cute. I like them a lot. That's a cute wedge. It's just, yeah, you know, very com comfortable comfy for wedge the bike. for the bike, right? Yep. So I'm a Harley girl today. <laughs> Those shoes aren't exactly designed for, for hiking. hiking. But that's okay. They look awfully good. <laughs> <laughs> the first serial killers ever written about in the United States supposedly were in this area. They were the Harp brothers, and they were called Big and Little Harp, and they were in cahoots with a counterfeiter who was an East Coast politician who moved here in the late 1700s. And became a, uh, and then started his counterfeiting operation here, and then the Hart brothers would go around and murder people and so forth, and eventually the three of them were uh, arrested and beheaded by the local people, I think, or, the, or maybe the law enforcement back in the day in like 1810 or something like that, yeah. and their heads were, were placed around strategic areas of, of the area here in Cave and Rock. But this was their hideout. This was their hideout. This is where they did their right. operations right. from. Right. So for 50 years, this was kind of the main, main center for, for badness and banditry in the area. Petroglyphs in here uh, that were thought to be from a mound building civilization, ancient native uh, mound building civilization.
this place is awesome they've got some curly fries here but we just ate but we'll we'll get the funnel cake and save part of it for later that looks really good so we got our funnel cake we got an orange and lemon shake up with yeah. splenda with splenda yeah she, you see how many no. cups of splenda or how many <laughs> spoons of splenda she put in there I, ten spoons full oh my god 